Unlike the other entries to our 2024 Outer Wild Single Planet Mod Jam, Jam Hub doesn't have a story. However, as the theme for this jam was community, this mod is instead pretty fitting as a sort of love letter to the Outer Wilds modding community itself. The planet it adds features information about existing and upcoming mods, and gives a bit of a behind the scenes look on the modding scene. If you'd rather play the mod yourself, it's linked in the description. We go to the Mod Jam Hub. Also, that's nice. They put they put music on this planet. Appreciate that. It's a good detail. And it's Ernesto again. Oh, uh, hey, it's me, Ernesto, the magic talking anglerfish. I guess I'm supposed to give you a tour of the planet or something. So yeah, let's do that. So first off, this is the party shack. There's a bunch of modders inside that you can chat with if you want. It's pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that, so I'm gonna say we should move on. Follow me or don't, but I'm going to the equator. And off he goes. Yeah, so I've been in here before, and basically, yeah, there's just a, a hearty in for... It's not every modder, because there's, like, there's over 100 modders. You know, there's like 300 mods on the database. So it's not everyone. But um, let's go to the most important one. Me. Yo, how's it going? My name is Zen. That's true. Have you played New Horizons and New Horizons Examples? I was actually involved in it. You should give it a try. That is true. Be sure to look out for Real Solar System, which is a mod that I'm currently working on. I hate to break it to you. I, I abandoned that mod long ago. <laughs> I am not working on it. But yeah. Kind of a fun... Uh, in-jokey kind of place. Which is fair enough. The The theme of the jam was community, right? So... Um, Ernesto went this way. So yeah, I think it's fair enough to <laughs> to do something that really only makes sense to the modding community. Hey Ernesto. Cool, you made it. So this is a showcase of some of the popular mods that have been made for Outer Wilds, if you want to read about them. There's also three other showcases. They're for popular New Horizons mods, upcoming New Horizons mods, and mods that won the previous jams. They're all on the equator, so I'm not going to bother showing you them. Instead, I'm going to show you the thingamajig at the South Pole, so meet me there. Okay, so I'm re-recording <laughs> going around the equator looking at these things because for whatever reason, I just I skimmed them. I like entirely skimmed them, which kind of defeats the purpose of what I was doing. So yeah, Quantum Space Buddies is, of course, the, the multiplayer mod made by Nebula, John Corby, and friends. Technically, I'm in and friends. I'm in there somewhere. I did a few things. An impressive technical achievement only recently reaching full release, Quantum Space Buddies turns the single-player Outer Wilds into a multiplayer experience. Full release is a strong word. They did call it version 1, and they have taken a bit of a pause from doing updates, but they, they always made updates really infrequently. They do like big updates more rarely, but I don't know. I don't imagine they're going to be done updating the mod anytime soon. By sending a generated code, this mod allows you to invite other players to join your game, where they can read text, make discoveries, and crash the ship just as well as you can. A monumental amount of work has gone into this mod, and it satisfies the want to experience the world of Outer Wilds with a co-pilot at your side. Just make sure that they buckle up. Up next we have the Outer Wilds Mod Loader, made by Alec and friends. I don't know if I'd count myself in the end friends here. I, I've, I've like probably contributed like a line. <laughs> the backbone of all other mods, OWML is the software responsible for making the code written by modders actually affect the game. Not only does it allow mods to interface with the game on a basic level, it also provides a number of handy helpers to mod developers, giving them easier ways to influence the game. Some of those helpers were used in the trickier parts of this mod, so I personally have a lot of thanks for OWML's authors. You and me both, Cleric. 
Next featured mod is Nomai VR, made by Rai Kuparta and Artum. This mod, as the name would suggest, allows Outer Wilds to be played using a VR headset, even remapping the inputs to allow the use of VR controllers, permitting players to interact with the world of Outer Wilds with their own hands. While certainly a technical achievement, the main merit of this mod is how it allows players of the game to experience in a whole new way. That feels weird. that sentence felt weird to me. Fully appreciating the scale and scenery of the game. Speaking of scale, you might try checking out an anglerfish with this mod. I bet you'll find them to be much larger than you thought they were. I gotta tell you, cleric, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. I, I don't want to do. That sounds terrifying. I have a VR headset. I've been to. I go to. I go to like Ember Twin. I've, I've never been in Dark Bramble. That's too freaky. I've never been. Even in Giants Deep, I hate I hate that. Next up we have The Outsider, by Streetlights Behind the Trees. The Outsider is a mod that adds many new features and locations to the surface of Dark Bramble, utilizing a space that is virtually untouched by the base game. When it was released, The Outsider was the largest story mod the community had seen by a wide margin, and was made entirely without the use of New Horizons. See, people say that as if it's a good thing, and obviously I am biased because I, you know, I'm like the, the team lead of New Horizons as it were, but like it's not a good thing, you just, it would have saved you time. They didn't use it because they didn't know what it did, like that. that's all it was. <laughs> While it is not maintained on an entirely regular basis, this mod is still an excellent experience that has stayed as a fond memory in the minds of those who played it. It is very good. It really does give you the same feel that you get when you're solving puzzles in the base game, I find. So that is this section which are just big mods, just generally. And the creators are, of course, at the North Pole. I wonder what, like, what would I have chosen to put here? So obviously, like, Quantum Space Buddies and Know My VR are, like, obvious ones. Well, and the mod loader, sure. And then the Outsiders, sure, just by virtue of the fact that it doesn't fit with, like, the New Horizons mod showcases. Although I don't really see the point of, like, sort of making that distinction. Right? Like, a story mod's a story mod. Doesn't really matter to me how it was made. So this section must be the winners of the second mod jam held in July of 2023 with the themes of Bigger on the Inside and Hidden in Plain Sight. This jam not only allowed the use of custom code but also provided nearly twice as much time as the previous. Both of these facts were well reflected by the quality and creativity of the submitted mods. Well that is true, we also got half as many submissions, which was a thing that happened. <laughs> With the code restriction lifted, many of the com competitors from the previous jam returned to the competition with bright ideas and the means to implement them, creating some of the best story mods that had been seen by the community at the time. Yeah, that's the thing with the jams, is like, we gotta just keep having jams, because this is the only way people actually release their story mods. Otherwise, like, you just get something, like, stuck in development, like, indefinitely. Okay, let's move upwards from third place. We have Mindscapes by Coder Cleric, who made the Jam Hub as well. This mod tasks the player with convincing Slate that the imminent death of the sun is going to happen using a new Nomai artifact that allows one person to invade the mind of another. This may turn out not to be a simple task, however, as Slate has true mastery over their mind and is able to keep the player secluded to a small area of it. Perhaps there's a way to break out? Also, yes, I made this mod. But it still got third, so I still get to talk about it. Ha. Huh. So you did, Cleric. That was pretty good. Super, uh, very unique central premise, right? Really carried it. Next up we have Tesseract's Secret by Can't Afford a Name. Can't Afford a Name actually won second place in both previous mod jams. Which is a damn shame that they didn't enter into this third one. Because they could have gotten second place again. Or maybe first, you never know. But they always do a, a good job. I think the main thing, right, is that they're they're a single person. I think all the other all the other first place winners have been teams. So you're just kinda already at a disadvantage if you're going it alone. But, you know, you get all that prize money for yourself. So who's who's the real winner? The mod is quite interesting, tasking the player with exploring a hidden planet with strange structures dotting its surface. Unfortunately, the structures are sealed at least until you find a way to open them. This mod is quite creative, making very good use of the space it takes up. While there is only one planet added, 
the contents of that planet are quite dense, making for a very enjoyable experience. That's something that I personally really appreciate in mods is when they, uh, you know, like a quality over quantity type thing, right? Like have one planet chock full of stuff versus like a whole solar system that's kind of bland. That was like kind of the idea with this uh, mod jam was to have like a solar system. Okay, I can't see any other planets. I have a solar system with like a bunch of other planets, but each entry only gets one planet, and that way every planet actually has a good amount of stuff on it. And lastly, we have Hearths at Neighbor by Gameworm, Endgame Zero, Lumine 0409, and Funky Shoe Man. Hearths at Neighbor is the mod that won first place in the second mod gem hosted by the Outer Wilds modding community. This mod sees the player traveling to a new star system with a single lonely planet orbiting its star. Don't let the planet's size fool you though, it has plenty more to see than initially meets the eye. There's good reason that this mod won first place in the jam, as it uses a combination of new horizons and custom code to introduce more puzzles, mechanics, and exotic locations not seen in the base game. I think that was another thing, the second mod jam, it was, it was just like, you could just do anything, right? But everyone used New Horizons regardless. Because I think I do think that like story mods lend themselves to jams more so than if you want to just make like a technical mod. You know, if you entered like just a grappling hook mod or a mod that like gives you a second ship or something like that, it'd be like, oh that's really cool. But if that was integrated into like a little story, you know, that's so much better, I think. This platform showcases the winners of the modding community's first mod jam held in January of 2023 with the themes Clockwork and Layers. This jam had a special restriction as it did not allow for custom code to be written. Instead, all mods submitted had to implement their mechanics solely with what was allowed by New Horizons. I forget why we did this. I don't think it was my decision. I feel like Rai pushed for that. I don't think that was even me. Again, you know, it's because... I feel like doing a little short story mod lends itself to this format a lot more. And this way as well, it lowered the barrier for entry because you didn't have to know how to code. You just had to like be able to write a little text file and you know make textures. So we were trying to get more people involved that way. While there were intended to be three winners for the jam, competition was tight to the point that some mods scored exactly the same number of points. With no way to assign a clear winner, a total of four mods were declared to take up the top places. Two shared first place, and two more shared second. It didn't have exactly the same scores, but it was like, it was so close. Like there were two that were very, very close, like a few points apart for first, and then similarly for second. Despite the complications, this mod jam was widely enjoyed by participants and audience alike, setting the tone for what was sure to become a beloved tradition of the community. If you want to, you can meet the creators of this mod at the North Pole, same as before. Now the machine, I loved the machine personally. I thought this was such a good mod. Made by Small Bug. The machine is one of the two mods that won second place in the first mod jam hosted by yada yada. This mod takes the player to a new solar system with its own set of unique planets, dangerous hazards, and cataclysmic events. Crucially, the machine also introduces a new mystery, tasking the player with uncovering the clues needed to prevent the collapse of the system. The thing I really liked with this was that it was like, they had Harthians living in stranger inhabitant style structures, and they were all named after fish. I just thought that was really fun. <laughs> Next up we have Archipelago by Can't Afford a Name, so of course it got second place. This mod has you warp to a new planet covered in a vast ocean and enclosed in a massive stone sphere. Using the clues that you find, you must find a way under the seafloor to solve the mystery surrounding this strange astral body. Archipelago is a very interesting mod combining organic mysteries and puzzles with fantastical environments and fascinating creatures. Definitely play this gem if you haven't already. Yeah, Can't Afford a Name always, like, you know, actually breaks out the 3D modeling software and <laughs> it makes a detailed environment. Does a lot of, like, caves as well, you know, which was really a staple of, of Outer Wilds, right? That most of the planets, you're not just exploring the surface, you're exploring underneath the surface as well. Next we have Arcanum Adrift by The Wrong Warp Team. 
they call themselves that because they are working on a uh, a big story mod called Wrong Warp. They've been working on it for you know over at least a year for sure, and then uh, they've submitted to all the jams so far actually, but only the first time have they won so far. This mod adds a unique and stunning location to the game with the breadcrumb trail to it starting at a Nomai text wall in the Observatory Museum. The mod itself makes heavy use of quantum objects, featuring puzzles that require careful alignment of many different objects. But seriously, this mod is so good looking, sheesh. <laughs> it does look really good, they did such a great job on their space station. I love anything that puts a space station. Like, screw planets, give me a space station. And then we have Evacuation by Walker, Texture Turtle, and Samster. And it also tied for first. This mod follows the hypothetical situation where, by some mysterious means, the Harthians come to learn that their sun will explode and manage to escape to another star system before that can happen. Despite this daring escape, the Harthians may not be out of the woods yet, as the system they've found themselves in may prove to be more treacherous than it first appeared. Be sure to give this mod a playthrough, it is likely the entry that makes the most creative use of New Horizons features to create unique puzzles. Yeah, this one was actually like pretty surprising in uh, how far they managed to push the no-code restriction. That's crazy, am I actually going to spend more than one loop here? <laughs> now this is the upcoming mod showcase. First up we have Forgotten Castaways, which is by Cleric, who is the creator of this mod. Upcoming story mod that takes place entirely in Dark Bramble, tasking the player with following the trail of the four Nomai that became stranded there. Dark Bramble is like a very popular <laughs> location for story mods, I think because it, it has the most sort of unsolved mysteries to it, you know? Uh, same with the Interloper. People love putting the Interloper in their mods. Despite taking place in Dark Bramble, the mod attempts to make the location somewhat less intimidating, hoping to allow those who are not fond of the planet to play it. Well, I hope it does that, because yeah, I hate I hate Bramble. <laughs> Next up we have Uncertain Futures by Clay. This is another upcoming story mod with quantum objects playing a central role. The mod is designed to emulate the traditional gameplay loop of Outer Wilds as closely as possible, as well as providing an alternate ending to the events that take place in the base game and DLC. Not only that, but Uncertain Futures also aims to flesh out an underutilized location and take advantage of certain opportunities that the base game did not. Anyway, I actually worked on this mod a bit. I did like two features. I hope they're still in there. <laughs> that was like probably over a year ago. While not much concrete is known about the mod, what is for certain is that it will be an exciting story to experience for the Outer Wilds modding community. No doubt. Next we have Extinction by Bird. This one's been in development for like a million years. Yeah, spent the longest time in development. The mod has a dedicated thread in the NH add-on dev channel of the modding Discord that gives some ideas of what is to come. I've, I should probably look at that thread, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> but much of the development is unknown to those not on the team. That's funny too, because I think I'm on the team. I've also contributed some stuff to this. I think I quit though. Or maybe I was fired. Is time not paused while I'm in dialogue? That was silly of me. It's going to be related to Dark Bramble. The origin of Dark Bramble. And then yeah, we have real solar system. Oh, they updated this before they were saying that like I was working on it still. And I was like, no, I'm not. But yeah, Triffid and Mega Piggy were. While RSS does exist on the mod database, it is only a preview of what is to come for this mod. It is still being worked on and story elements are planned for the full release. It's weird, you know, I was working on like a story release for this. And then like Triffid just kind of stole the mod from me and then proceeded to not finish it. So then I never finished it either. And then it just kind of like got stuck in limbo forever. But Cleric's looking forward to the full release. Yeah, it's still pretty good. Yeah, you just look at our real life solar system. I'm going to ignore that the sun's exploding. Next up we have Wrong Warp. I've mentioned that a few times by Hawkbar. I can't eat, I don't know how you say that name. Seeks to provide an alternate course for the player to take, exploring the nature of the eye of the universe and the complicated nature between it and the creatures of the universe. This mod will feature a variety of new game mechanics, puzzles, and other surprises that will be revealed at release. It also seems to take place in another star system. And yeah, same team that did Arcanum. And we are all quite excited for it to come out. Uh-huh. Next up we have Eyes of the Past by PickPick. Pick. 
and G and literally everyone else ever. Why is it lag? That was weird. It takes place on the home moon of the inhabitants of the stranger long before the events of the DLC uh, uncover the mystery of the sun or other and the past, and uh, it's gonna look good. Right, so after having been rudely interrupted by the supernova, um, it takes place on the home moon of the inhabitants of the stranger long before the events that take place during the DLC. We'll task the player with uncovering the mystery of what caused the inhabitants to make the great sacrifice that they did, as well as broader strokes about the past of their people. From this image alone, it is clear that this mod promises to be visually striking and quite a sight to behold. As a bonus, PickPick, the lead author of the mod, makes frequent posts on the Outer Wilds modding community discord with teasers about the mod. Yeah, I do appreciate that. A lot of people are like so secretive about their mods. Like Wrong Warp, there's like nothing. I think we've seen like three pictures ever. Also, for whatever reason, this mod requires my achievements tracking mod, which is cool. And I, I win now. Right, and then these are some most significant mods related to New Horizons, which again, like, I don't, I don't see the point of the distinction, you know? It's like, oh, these are the best mods that use menu framework, you know? <laughs> like, like, they're story mods. It doesn't matter to the end user, like, oh, this mod uses New Horizons, it's going to be better. Like, nah, it's, it's mod will be whatever the mod is. They're generally story-based, providing new content dreamed up by fans of the game. Such mods can include new planets, solar systems, and even custom-made assets. So yeah, here's old New Horizons by quite a few people. My name's not capitalized, by the way, it's a lowercase x. New Horizons is the mod enabling almost all of the story mods created by the community, with dozens of mods making use of it. I'm curious, I'm tabbing out, I want to I see the exact number. 93. It's 93 mods. Yeah, well, that's dozens. That's like at least seven dozens, perhaps. Allowing the creation of custom planets, systems, text, dialogue, and more with simple JSON and XML files, this mod enables those not confident in programming to create their own puzzles and stories. Which I think is something that we, we, we went too hard on, like the like, oh, you don't have to know programming, because then people who know programming are like, oh, so I, I shouldn't use it? And it's like, well, no, you probably should still. Like, I'd say definitely like the ship log stuff that it lets you do and like the dialogue stuff plus just generally there's a lot of like compatibility fixes you know say if 93 mods all wanted to do ship logs and dialogue you know they need something making sure they're not stepping on each other's toes and new horizons tries to achieve that anyway the first mod jam in january of 2023 demonstrated the kinds of experiences that creatives could craft with new horizons and more recent mods have shown what is possible when this tool is combined with custom code is actively maintained by members of the community and, despite Zen's insistence that it is complete, is frequently receiving new features. See, that, like that, I'm just saying, Quantum Space Buddy says they just released version one. No, you didn't, it, it never ends. You're stuck forever. Uh, next, let's do examples, which I'm like, why is examples here? It's an example. It is exactly what it sounds like, a mod created to showcase the different features implemented in New Horizons. It's also just kind of like the test environment, right? You can like, you release a new update to New Horizons and you just boot up examples, make sure it all still works. Despite being created as a form of documentation for the usage of New Horizons features, this mod is still fun to explore and is the source of many inside jokes referenced by the community, namely Ernesto. The mod is regularly updated to implement any new features in New Horizons, ensuring that it can serve as a reference for novice and experienced modders alike. Then we got The Vision by Harthian, which was, uh, this was like the first story mod, right? So it always, always has a special place in all our hearts. It incorporates the story of both the base game of Outer Wilds and the DLC Echoes of the Eye, providing a continuation of both. While the scale of the mod is not as impressive as some more recent releases, it was very impressive and highly anticipated at the time of release. Much of this is because the Vision was the first story mod to combine the tools and utilities provided by New Horizons with the adaptability of custom code, creating an experience that was more robust and complete than any that had been provided thus far. Yeah, I think like Fret's Quest came out before this, or maybe around the same time. Even then, yeah, it wasn't just like the first, 
you know, story mod that had custom code. It was also just one of the first story mods generally. And of course we have Astral Codec by Walker, which is uh, probably the best mod. <laughs> Where in that it's like, you know, more than an hour or two or three of content. And all that content is very polished. As stated on the mod page, Astral Codec explores a possible origin of the interloper. But don't think that's all that this mod has to offer. The story the mod presents is interesting, and the characters used and created are charismatic and fun to listen to. Okay, back to my recording from earlier then. Okay, yeah, this is neat. See, this is the last thing on the tour. It's some sort of weird computer. I think you can use it to, like, lock onto planets and stuff. Plus there's an orrery, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, that's the tour. We're done now. Is there any questions? Why don't you have collision? The modder didn't feel like bothering dealing with me having physics and stuff. Uh, respect. But yeah, this is neat. So all these like mod, modded planets. Granite's Invitation, best mod, authored by me. Cool, and you can have it lock onto the planet, so there it is. In its orbit. So that was Jam Hub, a cute little jam entry, not much else to say. Definitely fits into the theme of community, and while it's not some grandiose rich story like some other mods might be, it wasn't trying to do that anyway. Also, real solar system is dead, I tell you, okay? It's, it's dead. <laughs>